What up, what up, what up? It's Friday, August 28th. Dang, man, August is almost over. Um, coming, you, coming to you back with uh, tips, tricks for your DSLR <laughs> um, mirrorless camera. Um, really quick, if you hear my phone going off, is we just got nominated for um, Atlanta's Hottest Photographer for 2020. And I'm really humbled. Thank you, everybody. That's a, it's an honor just to be humbled. I mean, if I win, awesome. If I don't, just to be hum just to be nominated, man, is a, is a privilege in itself. So thank you for everybody. Gonna need your help to win, though. Uh, voting starts next month in September, and I'll, I'll share the link and all that good stuff so you can vote. Because the win, it's not about me. It's about you. Thank you so much for uh, requesting the videos, man. I, I didn't know I didn't know they were in such a demand. Um, but I've, when I don't post it, I get DMs like Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, like why no videos? So thank you. But today's topic, um, it's going to be for the novice photographer. This has nothing to do with the Tele Browns or the Field Visions or the ABH Studios or the Darian Whites or uh, who else is out there shooting. This has nothing to do with you guys, but this video is about what to charge your first time customer or your customers. Um, when I started shooting, um, didn't know what to charge. And this particular video is gonna be more about portrait photography. We're not talking about weddings. We're not talking about engagements. We're not talking about family shoots. Those are all different pricings. This particular video is about you going out for your first time and you're about to get paid, What, how much do you charge? So make sure we understand that. And this is my opinion, okay? There's many, many, many videos out there that will tell you, you should charge this, you should charge that, you should charge this, but I wanna help you. Um, Cause what I'm telling you or I'm about to tell you, nobody told me I had to learn it the hard way. So hopefully this will guide you into how to charge. But when, they asked me to do my first video, I mean my first um, shoot paid, it was my coworker, she said, hey, how much would you charge me to do, uh, to shoot me and my husband? And I'm like, you wanna pay me? They're like, yeah, I wanna give you some money to, to shoot us. And I didn't know, I had to reach out to my um, wedding photographer to let her know, shout out Cindy Lowe. Um, I had to ask her, I said, Cindy, they're at, they wanna pay me, how much should I charge to, to, to take the pictures? And she said, Daniel, don't leave your house no less than $75. I'm like, okay, 75 bucks. So they paid me, gave them the pictures, no edits. Um, I did go through them, you know, I gave them the best pictures and stuff. They loved them, they put them in a book. She showed me the book. I'm like, wow, this is amazing. So when I started shooting, um, you know, getting paid, I would just tell everybody, 75 bucks, 75 bucks, 75 bucks. But little did you guys know that it took me two years of free shooting before I got to a paid shoot, okay? Understand that. You're gonna shoot for free a lot, just so you know, in order before you get paid. But the reason why you're gonna shoot for free a lot is because do you have product to show your customer, your potential client? Because you can say, man, I'm an, I'm an amazing photographer, but what do you have to show for that? Um, I take the scenario, <clears throat> excuse me, I take the scenario of a baker he makes the best chocolate chip, the best chocolate chip cookies. And he's telling you, there's, I'm telling you the notification left and right. And he's telling you, man, I'm the best chocolate chip cookie maker, but he doesn't have any chocolate chip cookies to um, show you. And that's what you gotta do is you gotta build content. You gotta build material in order for them to book you. So you can say all you want, I'm a great photographer, but you gotta show me that, um, I'm going to invest my hard, my hard, hard money into your business. So, the, the I would say the very first thing that you need to do is take into consideration the client, take into consideration the location, take into consideration your time. Okay, take this. This is a hypothetical story, but I want you to think about what you're going to price. All right. So let's say you have a model, male or female, kids, whatever. Right. Remember portrait, portrait pricing. And they say, hey Daniel, or hey Steve, or hey Chris, um, I want to use you, and how much would you charge me to take a picture of my 
teenage daughter. She wants to get into modeling. Um, the very first question that you should ask is, where do you live? Oh, we live in Savannah. Okay, now listen, and you live in Atlanta. You live in Savannah. Oh, we live in Savannah. Now you got to take into consideration your travel time. Let's get a little bit closer. You know, I live on the south side of Atlanta. Say somebody says, hey, we live out in Union City. I said, okay, Union City for me is about 45, 50 minutes away. So that's 45, 50 minutes going, 45 minutes, 50 minutes coming. Then we got to shoot, okay? So we go, we shoot for about an hour, maybe two hours, right? Then we got to drive back. Then we got to look through the pictures. Then we got to process the pictures. Then we have to send the pictures out. Um, then they got to choose them. For me, they choose pictures. And then they, then they come back to you. Then you got to edit the pictures. Got to take all that into consideration. Does that sound like you should ch be charging $30 for that or $50 for that? I just want you to think about that, right? How much should you, how much should you pay a photographer or how much should you charge? You know, in other words, how much should you, you charge for photography? Take those things into consideration. I'm going to tell you one thing. Don't leave outside the door no less than $75 to $100. Start there. Also, some photographers that I know, they get paid in full. I particularly, particularly take a deposit. Be depending on the price, it's usually between 25 to 50. When we do weddings, we take a $500 deposit, but we're not talking about weddings, we're talking about personal portfolio, okay? Um, $25 deposit, remember, you gotta be able to receive that deposit. Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, um, Venmo, I guess, they use Venmo now, right? So make sure you're, you're ready to receive those. You gotta have a bank account <laughs> to receive that stuff, right? Cash app, if I didn't say cash app. Um, so me personally, I take a $25 deposit um, and all that, all that, I take that as a digital handshake. That is a promise from the customer to me to say that they will be there. Now I totally understand if something happens, accident, got called into work, all that other stuff. But for the most part, when you get a deposit, nine times out of 10, that, that customer is gonna be there. So make sure you get a deposit. Make sure you get a deposit. <laughs> so um, think about that, you know, how much should you charge when you get out the door? If you're starting to, to charge people, start between 75 and $100. And not only that, you gotta invest in, in equipment, okay? Please understand that people will pay for the quality of work that you give them. I am a true witness to that. People will pay your worth. Somebody taught me that. If you say you're worth $300, people will pay the $300. Why? Because they see the quality of work that you're turning in. Not only the quality of work that you're turning in, but your professionalism your personality, not only that, but the way you engage your customer in a shoot. I'm telling you, and, and, and I, I'm, I'm using this um, retail sales minded, because I used to do retail sales, but I'm telling you right now, and I, and I believe this with all my heart, a happy customer is a paying customer, okay? If you got your customer happy, I am guarantee you they're gonna refer you to 10 other people, okay? If your customer's not happy, you're not gonna get return business. So you gotta make sure your customer's happy. Hey, I don't like this. What can I do to take care of it? Because those people pay your bills. Like right now, we're shooting full-time photography. These people pay my bills. But in order for them to pay my bills, they have to be happy. So what do we do? We deliver our pictures on time. We have amazing quality. We cannot get any better than the Nikon Z6 right now. The quality is superb, top notch, 100%. Screw you, Canon. Screw you, Sony. Just messing with you guys. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. But anyways, when you're starting to charge your clients, please take into consideration your time, your talent, okay? We just don't, go out there and take pictures. But before we take pictures, we're over here studying how to take pictures, right? Um, the time to process, the time to edit. Think of all that stuff.
Um, and I know you're excited, man. I know you're excited. You're about to get paid for the first time in a, you know, in a, um, in the field that you love to do. They normally say that if they pay you to take a picture, you're, you're a certified professional photographer if you get paid to shoot. So I try to think about those things. I uh, wanted to get it out to you, man. It is so important. How much should you pay a photographer for photography or how much should you charge your client? You know, I still got a word how we're going to title this and stuff, but um, hopefully this will help you out on the tips and tricks for your DSLRs. All right, I'm back. Um, talking about presenting product to the customers, what, what I did was we use um, Google Photos to distribute most of our pictures and stuff. Um, and what I did while, while the customer is waiting for us to set up, I hand them this book. And what I did was I went and I printed out just some of our work on paper just to let them you know to let them see you know this is this is my slice of pizza this is my chocolate chip cookies and I'm presenting to you just to let them see our work we did that one and I just recently did one with the ballerinas that I've shot here in Atlanta we did a, a book about the ballerinas and stuff so um, the other the other cliche and I think you've heard this before is in order to 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 make money you got to spend money you know these books cost me like 35 40 or 45 or 50 dollars and stuff um, but I, I hope this helps you it's just kind of a long video I just looked at it it's like 16 minutes long we're probably gonna cut that down a little bit and stuff but you know just just remember those things I don't want you to get discouraged because they didn't pay you I remember I used to come to the house a lot and you know like Hey, did they pay you? I said, no, they didn't pay me. Did they pay you? No, I said, I said, but the money is coming. And let me tell you, the money has come, but it wasn't, photography is not an overnight success story, okay? How much should you charge to do photography? Like I said before, start off a base. My base was 75, you can do 100. Um, but remember, you're gonna shoot for free for a lot until somebody offers you money and says, hey, how much would you charge me to do this? Invest in equipment. Um, invest in a good camera, whatever it's Canon, Sony, Nikon, whatever, right? Um, not only that, when you're pricing your when you're pricing your product out, do not forget travel time, gas. I had a lady who wanted me to shoot her, her and her daughter, or her and her kids, or whatever, and I said, "Where are you at?" She's like, "I'm in Alabama." And I said, "Oh, okay." So I priced out. It was like. 82 miles going and 82 miles coming back. So the, the, right now the standard rate is like 52 or 53 cents a mile. I said, well, just travel fee itself is $150, okay? Just add that on top of the shoot. She's like, oh, oh, okay. The, people don't understand that, you know, that you gotta travel, you know, that's wear and tear on your car. Um, so when you're pricing your stuff out, just remember that travel time, shoot time, editing time, processing time, follow up time. It's a lot of thing that goes into that. So have a great week. Um, you have any questions, any comments, DM me, Instagram, Facebook. Um, call me, 678-735-0977. Thank you guys.